Is your 3D printer silently poisoning you? As 3D printers become more common, researchers have been uncovering the hidden dangers of FDM 3D printing. So, what's the issue and why should users be concerned? Basically, the fact is FDM machines are melting plastic. Recent research is showing that FDM 3D printing isn't quite as safe as it seems. In a study done by the Georgia Institute of Technology, they actually found that even common household filaments are giving off either fumes or ultrafine particles. Over 200 different VOCs, such as styrene and even formaldehyde, were detected in their testing. Now, there are ways to reduce the risk of inhaling these toxins, such as printing in a well-ventilated area and even building your own enclosure. But what's the most effective way to prevent breathing in these potentially harmful chemicals? Fume extractors. So today, we're talking about the BOFA fume extractor systems. Now, these are really for peace of mind. Well, we don't know all the risks. This is great because it's that extra step to protect yourself, your coworkers, your friends and family, even your animals and pets. Now, BOFA International is an award-winning fume and dust extraction solutions company. It's a bit of a mouthful, but they've recently launched a line of fume extractors specifically for additive manufacturing. Today, we'll be looking at the Print Pro 3 and how we use it in our shop on our printers. We've actually created custom attachments for the FunMat HD, so you can use this system straight out of the box. And we're working on setups for other printers as well. More on that later. So here we have the Print Pro 3 system. Now, it's important to note that this was designed to work with multiple 3D printers and multiple 3D printing technologies, not just FDM. So whether you're doing multi-jet, SLA, SLS, or another method, the Print Pro 3 is effective at removing particulates and gaseous compounds that are emitted during the 3D printing process. They even supply free CAD models to create plenums and different things that you can attach to your machine or your enclosure. Here, I've actually got one of the smaller plenums, and as you can see, they come in three parts. You can print them yourself, and there's two different designs they provide. One has a slot here, uh, for extraction and one has a bunch of different little holes in it. Now this, this is really easy to print, prints in you know, a few hours and actually just goes together like this. And then you put the cap on, there we go. And then you put this on the hose. Now the Print Pro 2 has a flex tube that actually stays in place so I could position this above the printer or on the side or something and it will just stay there. Uh, on this unit, we have the full circulation system, so we don't actually do that. We don't need these. As you can see, you know, this can be extended. It's customizable. You can print out multiples to cover a larger space. They're pretty cool to, that they provide all that stuff. You can even use these as a baseline to create your own custom designs specifically for your printer. We actually made our own for the FunMat HT, and as you can see, I'll show you this in detail later how it works, but it basically just goes into slots that are pre-existing on the machine and you replace it and then you have full fume extraction set up and ready to go. So let's talk more about the Print Pro 3, this unit here. So as you can see, it's a very workable size. It's about 10 by 10 by 14, easily fits under a desk, on top of the table, or on the side of the machine. Uh, it's very compact, it's very quiet. On the lower settings here, it's actually practically silent. On the highest settings, it can do up to 88 cubic feet per minute. So I just turn it on right there and you see these lights here. As it's indicated, it's on the lowest setting right now. And I can just hold these buttons to turn up the speed. And now you can start to hear it. You really start to hear it around level three. But on level one, it's, it's literally silent. It's pretty cool. The filters last quite a long time and they are cheap to replace. It comes with a full setup of hoses so you can you know, set this you know, six feet away from the machine and still use it. You can either recirculate the air back into the printer as we do for the high temp printers that we sell on our website, visionminer.com, or you can exhaust the clean air back into the room. Inside, it actually uses three levels of filtration to remove everything from ultra-fine airborne particles to fumes emitted during the printing process and odors that you don't want to smell. So let me go ahead and open this up. As you can see, the hose comes right off the top there and out the back. If I just pop the top off like that, 
comes out super easy. Then we can actually pull the full filter unit out just like that. So there we have it. This is the filter unit. And on top here, we have the pre-filter. Now this is really to extend the life of the HEPA filter, but it's also really good at getting a lot of fine particulates. Now this alone has an 80% efficiency at removing 0.2 micron particles and 95% efficiency at one micron particles. Next, we have the HEPA filter down here, the one everyone knows and loves, and everybody's familiar with this. It's in your AC, it's in your vacuum cleaner, and a million other places. Uh, but this removes 99.97% of particles at the 0.3 micron size. And that's the size that can get into your bloodstream. So this is pretty important. Lastly, on the bottom, we have the carbon filter. The carbon captures gases, odors, and those funky smells that you get from some filaments. Uh, and of course the nanoparticles. Carbon is well known to absorb things like this, but it does require some dwell time, meaning the air needs to be in the carbon long enough for it to get absorbed and captured. Now these units are specifically designed with internal chambers to increase the maximum dwell time for the best filtration. Furthermore, their patented design eliminates the risk of air bypassing or tunneling past the filters. So, Let's go over to the fun mat and I'll show you exactly how we set up this system and use it in our shop. All right guys, so here we are in the shop with the legendary fun mat HT Enhanced. Now we've got these in stock, they're ready to go, but they do go really quick, so get one while you can. And we've got special bundles, including the filtration system, along with carbon fiber plates and nano glues and everything else that we offer that goes along with the machine. So here we've made it super easy. All you gotta do is go into the machine, pop out the handle from the back side and then you take our custom designed intake and exhaust manifolds and you just pop it right on there let me show you basically it's literally that easy you just take the handle out and then you've got this thing you can put it on the hose or put the hose on later or whatever you want and you just literally pop it right back in there now what we're doing is we're actually taking it from the hot chamber, bringing it down through the filter to warm up the filter that helps it maintain the 90 Celsius, and then back into the filament chamber. There's enough gaps and holes in, in there for it to fully filter through. Now, we've been happily surprised to find out that it does maintain that high chamber temperature without issue all the way up to speed number three. It's, whether it's PLA, nylon, polycarbonate, or even the high temps like Peak and Ultim, this system adds that extra peace of mind. We don't know the extent of the dangers. These materials and the off-gassing haven't been studied for a long enough period of time to really know what's gonna happen. So this unit, these units, are really for peace of mind. I love it when we're printing nylon and I come in, you know, we're printing overnight and I come into the shop in the morning and I don't smell the nylon because the doors have been closed all night. It's totally filtering everything out and it just gives us that extra peace of mind that we're gonna live a couple extra years in case this stuff is highly toxic. So we've got these on our website. They're ready to ship to you in stock now. So go ahead and ask any questions you've got in the comments below. Like and subscribe this video. Share it if you can. Uh, and let us know what you think. You know, visit our website for more information or give us a call and ask us questions. We love hearing from you guys. Anyway, have a positive rest of your day and we'll see you on the next video.